Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. So for today's video, it's gonna be all about my new iPhone. I did get the new SE that came out last year and I'm gonna be showing you guys all the apps I have on my phone and how I organize my phone. Of course, this video would not be complete if I didn't have Caseify partying with me in this video. So thank you so much to Caseify. Caseify's new impact and ultra impact cases are made of 65% recycled and plant-based materials. Their G-Tech 2.0 technology offers drop protection up to 9.8 feet for the ultra impact case. There are also some cases that you can customize and put your name on it, for example, and you can change the font and the color of the text. So Caseify sent me five new phone cases and they're honestly super cute. I really like them. Starting off with the phone case I have on my phone right now, it is this like pink like border um, phone case and it is a clear case. This one has a little daisy on it and it just says a girl power. And then on the top it said she believed she could do it or she could, so she did. And then on the bottom, it just says the future is female and girls can do anything. And I just love like all like the sweet messages it has on here. But I did customize it to have like the pink border on the side, which literally adds a really cute touch to the phone case. I literally just love, love, love this phone case. All of them literally have a cute packaging. It is basically just like a white box and it has like a little attachment on the top and it's just like super cute next going on to this phone case is actually a iphone 11 pro case and it just has like these really cute flowers that are like a neon pink color and the phone case itself is just like basically a beige color and it's super cute i got this one for my mom's phone because as you know i use my mom's phone a lot to film so i really like this phone case overall it's super cute and their phone cases are literally so light which i just love the next phone case is an ultra impact case and it's also for the iphone 11 pro and this one is seriously so cute i love it it has like a cow print but in a baby pink color and i did customize it to have like the pink border just like it matched the phone case and it is like an ultra impact case as i said because it has like the little things right here to protect it even more if it does fall the next phone case is actually for my phone and it is another cow print but this one is a baby blue color and i did customize it to have the black border on these sides i love the print on this phone case it's definitely something different from what i would have and the next phone case they sent me is like a little flowered print phone case i literally love this phone case because of the colors on it it has like multiple like colors on like the flowers that's pink like a light beige white and then like a purple like brown color and it is an ultra impact case and i picked this one out because it has flowers and i love flowers these are all the phone cases that they sent me honestly oh my god they look super cute together if you guys have watched my other caseify video and like what's on my iphone you guys know i did drop my phone so this is gonna be the first time i drop my new phone so let's go do that right now so this is what my phone looks like right now there's no scratches or cracks on it on either side it's in perfect condition so i'm just gonna drop it from like my waist height since if i do drop it, it's pretty much where it would really fall from in one two three there's no cracks or scratches on the phone case or the screen protector now that you guys have seen that Caseify gives you both protection with personality, you can go to caseify.com slash undress.ie for 15% off your favorite Caseify cases. Now let's get into the video. So starting off with my lock screen, I just have a lot of pictures from my Florida trip and it just has like from Disney, Universal, and just palm trees and like all that. Then going on to my home screen, I have a widget on the top that just has the time and the date. Like right now it is 11.20. 9 a.m. and it is Friday, November 5th. And you're probably wondering why am I filming on a Friday? Don't I have school? But I don't have school today, so that's pretty much why I had time to film. So it just has like a pink color, and you could customize it on like the photo widget app, which has a lot of colors, fonts, and sizes you can pick from. 
and i just really like this app i definitely recommend trying it out and then i just have all the apps i mostly use which is facetime calendar facebook weather gmail google maps app store settings and then i have shop which you guys probably already know what it is and i just love this app a lot it basically tracks all your packages and you can like know when they're arriving where they're at it's just a really useful app as you could tell i really like shopping <laughs> so i have a lot of things there definitely recommend downloading this app then i have notes finance which basically is a folder that has like wallet paypal and like all like the money stuff and then i have the apple folder which basically has a lot of like apps i don't really use so i have voice memos compass stocks watch translate tips itunes stores news health tv music file shortcuts reminders and calculator and i do use calculator a little bit but i just put it in the apple folder because it comes with the phone and then i have a widget on the left and that one is basically from the photo widget app and you basically could like put an album and it can change like every five minutes ten minutes an hour depending on what you really want but for this one i just made like an album for like places i got them off pinterest and then i took some of them myself from like florida and i just really like all the pictures i am gonna definitely add a lot more but i was like barely adding this like two days ago so i'm not really finished yet and i do have it so you can switch like every five minutes but right now it just has a little like picture of a beach which is super cute and then on the bottom i just have the apps i use a lot so I have phone, messages, safari, and I have by my iPhone at the bottom too because I lose my phone so much and it's always like next to me but I just don't see it and I always have to have my parents like call it. And then on the next page, I just have photos, camera, a school little folder and it just has docs, classroom, zoom, photo math, power school, which is basically where I check my grades. And then I have group me, which basically I used when I was in volleyball to communicate with like the coach and stuff and then i have maps and then i have another widget which has like a little quote which i found really cute it just says do what you like love what you do and then i have a messenger which i don't use a lot i don't really use google whatsoever i use safari to search up things it's a lot easier and then i have the whatsapp which i don't use at all and then i have a ring for our cameras and then i have mail which i don't also use a lot i normally use gmail instead and then i have a tiktok which I'm basically there for like the majority of the day, even at school, so I just have it there. And then I have a clock and then I have a random folder, which basically has all like the random apps I don't use or I just use us sometimes. And then I just have a home podcast contacts, Widget Smith, which I don't use a lot, Chrome, Amazon Alexa. And then I have the universal app, which I used when I went to Florida on my vacation and I just used it to find like roller coasters, things to do there i did put like a heart on like all the rides i did like go on and then i just have photo widget which i use sometimes to like customize my like phone and stuff then i have the airport little app and then i have the disney world the same thing i did use it only when i went to florida and then i have the box app which i only use like one time and then the widget on the top just has a lot of pictures from my florida trip so i just put it in like a little album and a photo widget so it can like change every five minutes and this is a picture of a lizard i saw there i was not wanting to touch it whatsoever and so i put it on like a plate to see it better up close and stuff so i just have that and i have a lot of other ones i have this one and it's another lizard there was literally so many of them i've never like seen them at all and there like it was just everywhere like you could literally just see them like moving from the grass and stuff and this is a picture of like the plane at night when we're coming back this is not even like half of it i took like about 600 pictures over there it's literally a lot it could only let me like i think put 30 in like an album in photo widget so I just have that for now and it does change every five minutes as well then on the bottom i just have another widget and this one is pictures of my dog i literally only have three i still need to add more but this one is for halloween i dressed him up as like a little panda and he looks super cute walking i'm probably gonna just put like a little video on top but he was literally super cute on that little costume and then they have this little picture of him that reminds me a lot of piglet i don't know why but like the ears are just like pink and i don't know you're just so cute in that picture and i have this one which i find kind of funny it just has like a little 
um like hat that i made out of his hair because i was brushing him and as i was brushing him i did like grab like the hair that came out and i made like a little hat on the next page i have this big big widget that says it's a beautiful day to go after your dreams and i customized it to have like that text and then to be that color and i just thought i would make a big widget because i didn't have like any other apps to out of there so i felt like it would be perfect to just fill in that space but you could literally change it to be any color as you can tell it has a lot of colors and you can even like find a different tone if you don't like any of those which i really like about that but i'm gonna keep it to the same color i had right now so i'm just gonna cancel it and then i just have the instagram which i literally use a lot during the day you should definitely go add me on instagram i have a couple of pictures i'm still adding some from my florida trip but i do have at least a couple of pictures and then i have my editing folder which basically has like all the things i use to edit my thumbnails for youtube my instagram pictures so i have canva google drive and then i have fonto unfold unfold you could basically like customize and like make like a background with like a lot of pictures it's pretty cool this is the app that i use to make my like lock screen picture they have a lot of like different ones you could choose from some of them are free some of them are not then i have the one i made which is on the top and it just has a lot of pictures from florida you could basically like change them and delete them and like just add new pictures, which I really like. So I definitely recommend downloading Unfold. It's pretty cool. And then I have the Eraser app, Bizarre. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, Blur. And then I have iMovie and Lightroom. Lightroom, I literally for sure recommend you download that app. It literally logs me out every single time. I don't know why. But you can basically just like change like the lighting of a picture. And I use that for my Instagram pictures. And it literally turns out really nice. You could buy even presets from other people or like just um, influencers that have them already and you could also make your own. Then I have the shop folder which has all the things that I use to like shop. So I have Hollister, American Eagle, Petco, H&M, Walgreens, Pink, Paxson, Target, Starbucks, the Nike app, and then I have Ulta, Sephora, and Bath & Body Works. And I finally have a lot more space on this phone, so I'm gonna try to download a lot of the apps that I deleted on my old phone because I did not have any space on that one. So when I got my new phone, I did like get 64 gigabytes on it to have a lot more storage on it. Then I just have Pinterest, which I spend like two hours per day on here just scrolling through like inspo pics. Like there's just like so many cute ones like this one and i have a lot of different categories on here i have hair ideas beautiful places picture poses skincare delicious breakfast summer and like so many other ones i'll link it on my description box so definitely go follow me the amount of time i'm on here is just insane and then i just have like a little game folder i just use them like when i'm bored or like at school i have the geometry game the among us i don't really use among us that much I have Subway Surf, which I used in the airplane. I literally used that game and I downloaded it when I was coming back from Florida on the airplane since it was like night and I was about to fall asleep, but I did not want to fall asleep. So I was just playing a game. And then I have YouTube, subscribe to my channel. And then I have YouTube Studio, which I basically use. It shows you like all your stats of YouTube, how many subscribers you have, the watch time, and how many like people you've reached on your videos. It has a lot of info on there. And then I have Snapchat, which you guys can obviously see me in right now. I don't really use Snapchat a lot. I'm not really like active on there. Yeah, this is basically my phone and I did like change a lot compared to my last what's on my iPhone. And then on the side, it just has a lot of apps and like different categories. So that's pretty much what's on my iPhone. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you once again to Caseify. You can use my code, which will be on the screen and you can get 15% off your purchase, which is literally awesome. So yeah, if you want to buy any of these cases or even other cases, go use my code and also in the link in the description. So go check check out Caseify and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!